for associations in handfuls to use them if need be, especially the youth centre, youth group. Well, we've never made an application for tents before. You have. Uh, Cynthia, can I just, can I make a comment? Yeah. I think what we possibly might be thinking of is the uh, the ride on mower that we contributed no, towards. No. no, what that was, Cynthia, was the disabled toilet that you were generous with a couple of years ago. We made an application for the disabled toilet and you helped us refurbish that. Ashley, have we given a donation for tents before? Um, I can't remember tents, in I all think... honesty. It's, <laughs> unless it was before my time. Yeah. Cynthia, okay. I, I, think, Cynthia, I think that was to was that to Lindo. Oh, it might have been. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, Stephen. No problem. Thank I you. I know that we'd had a a, a grand for tents before. Okay. I think it was Lindo or possibly um, SK Nine Group. Possibly. Yes, it was the SK Nine Group. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I I propose that we support. Uh, this grant application because the majority of children that will be using the tents hopefully live in and around Hanforth and we want to be seen to be supporting our youth and the scouts. Well I'm delighted to, to see that the uh, scout numbers are increasing and you're obviously incredibly popular so I'm very happy to support it. So can I have a proposal for that then please? I'll oh, propose to support. Okay. I'll second. Linda. All right. Can we take a vote on the grant, the uh, application for £500, please? Those in favour? In favour, Councillor Sampson. In favour. In favour, Councillor Moore. Okay. Well, that concludes the business of the finance. Sorry, Roger, did you want to say something? Uh, Clark, could we just unmute yeah, um, for um, a second? You can unmute yourself if you want, Roger. Just to say that um, <clears throat> Mike, Mike Bishop is trying to join the meeting and uh, is being unable to do so. Could you let him in, please? Okay. Well, while uh, the clerk tries to let Mike Bishop in, um, we finished the finance, so I'm going to declare the meeting, the finance meeting, now closed. Can I just say something, Ashley, please? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ashley, can you remove Mike Rowley? He's making some extremely um, un unpleasant and obscene comments. And also Chelsea Handler. Um, yes, certainly, if I can find them. <laughs> Are we all looking there? Participants. I don't get the same screen as you guys. Okay, I'll leave now. Thank you for your support. Thank you, Stephen. Okay, thank you, Stephen. Mike Rowley. Mike Rowley's name is Ashley. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Perhaps the responsible adult who is usually with him has uh, not been able to make it. Mm. Possibly so. Yeah, that's an interesting question. Well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get the IP address, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, he was being really derogatory about uh, the scouts. Yeah, so... Possibly thinks he's funny. Oh, it's hilarious. Mm. Yeah, can I just remind people that this is a, um, a council meeting, it's dealing with serious matters, and we really don't want to see stupid comments by people. Um, we, we want people to be engaged and I'm, I'm delighted that people want to come and watch the council meeting. I'm particularly delighted that people from the parish want to come and join the meeting. But please, let's all be sensible about it. We're not here. This isn't some form of entertainment. It's a council meeting. Thank you. Well said, uh, councillor from Dover, Sue. Sorry? Well said. Thank I'm a councillor in Dover. <laughs> Thank you. Um, has Councillor Tolver turned up yet? Not yet, no. Well, we should wait till seven, should we not? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. 
Can I be excused a minute then, please? Yes, I'm just going to get some water. <laughs> Right, Councillor Tolva has arrived. Okay. Good. Um, I need him to unmute himself.
Ashley, has Councillor Tolva here? Well, according to this, it says Brian. I've asked him to unmute. Um, uh, I'm unmuted. Yeah, there he is. Right. I can't hear anybody else at the moment. Uh, can you hear us? Can you hear us now? I can hear you. Ask me. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I'm here. Can you hear me, Brian? Yes, I'm here. Yeah. You, okay. I've, there's no picture, though. No, I've, I've spared you the sight this evening. Oh, I've, right. I've, I've been to the eye hospital, and I mean, I'm never the prettiest of sights, but okay, it's a little bit less enjoyable than usual. Okay. Can, do you want still want to chair the meeting? Considering your eyesight, or do you want to? I, I, I wouldn't mind if, um, if it's okay constitutionally. I'm happy if um, uh, Councillor Moore would do the planning meeting at least. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea, Brian. Okay. That's okay. fine. Um, <laughs> can I propose that uh, because of Brian's um, indisposition, <laughs> uh, can we? Uh, Allow Councillor Moore to chair the meeting, please. Yes, I propose or second that, whichever. That's it. I propose that. I second it. Thank you, Brian. And are we all in favour? Yes, in favour. Yep. Councillor Smith, you're muted. You're still muted, John. Is that allowing me? That's allowed me now. Thanks, Ashley. Okay. In favour? Yeah. Okay, Councillor Moore. Okay, so we get on then. Mm -hmm. um, first item on the agenda then, 2171, is to receive apologies for absence. Have we received any apologies? I no. haven't received any apologies, no. No apologies. Okay. Moving on to item 2172, to note declarations of interest and request for dispensation to discuss or discuss and vote on a matter in which a member or co-opted co member has a disclosable pecuniary or non-pecuniary interest. Does that affect any of our councillors here? None from me, Councillor Sampson. No, none from me, Smith. None from me. It does, it does from me. Um, oh. The last one on the list. <coughs> Number 60, Woodland Road. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so I shall absent myself for that one. <coughs> okay. Sorry, which one was that? The, the last one on the agenda. Oh, 60 Woodlands. Okay, fine. Can we note that down then, Clark? Yeah. <coughs> Thank you. Excuse me. Um, okay, so moving on to item 2173, this is the open forum comments and questions concerning items on the agenda can be put to the council by any members of the public during this time. Matters which in the chairman's view require debate and or a discussion will be referred to the next committee or council meeting as appropriate. The public forum is restricted to 15 minutes unless the chairman allows otherwise. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome your comments, but if there are lots of people, could you be concise? So I open up to comments from the floor, please. We have uh, Roger Small with his hand up. Just asking you to unmute now. Thank you, Chair. Uh, I'd like to pass comment on uh, agenda item eight. Um, which is a planning application lodged by a, a resident in um, Hall Road. I should point out before I uh, say anything that uh, I too am a resident, more or less, of Hall Road. Uh, I do not know uh, the applicant uh, personally, etc., uh, etc. Et the application relates to a proposal to build a fence, um, basically along the uh, front border of the property. Now this property is 
the first house in Hall Road. It faces uh, St. Benedict's Church. There's no footpath uh, outside the property. Uh, the front garden borders directly onto the road. And more than that, um, there is parking allowed outside St. Benedict's Church, which means that traffic passes directly in front of the property, not separated from the property by any footpath <coughs> of any kind. The uh, house uh, holder is asking permission to build a fence uh, and ideally they would like that fence to be um, six foot six inches high. Now normally uh, in a front garden which is adjacent to a footpath uh, the maximum height allowed is um, one meter but you can apply for planning permission to have a, a, a taller fence. Uh, I think the fence of six foot six inches is a bit optimistic. They might be allowed um, uh, five feet. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is I, I would like the parish council to be sympathetic to this application because that house uh, is in, uh, let's say, a very vulnerable position as regards traffic. It's very busy there. Uh, and sometimes there are traffic jams there. And I think it would be nice for them to have a reasonably high fence immediately outside the front of their house. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, Roger. Is there anybody else who'd like to comment? Uh, Alan Murdoch's got his hand up. Thanks. Has that worked? Can you hear yes. me? Good. Um, yes, yeah, not about this one, but it's about a different application, Cypress House. Um, that was an application by a church or development for 45 apartments um, just next to the Bull's Head uh, and hand forth. It was refused by a committee last year um, against the um, recommendation of the planning officers who wanted to uh, to support it. Um, that is now up for appeal um, and representations to the appeal body have to be in by the 25th March. Um, and I just think that the, if the, the, par the parish council opposed that development previously, and I think we should reinforce the uh, opposition to it, to the appeal uh, body. And also any residents who feel that 45 apartments there with uh, 23 parking spaces might cause chaos locally, uh, might also wish to object. Okay. I agree. I agree with Alan Murdoch. I think we should submit um, the objection that we submitted last time because most of that was to do with car parking. Right, okay. Uh, uh, Ash, we have. How uh, does it come that uh, we haven't had notification of this? Uh, we haven't had notification of it. No, but, no, but why not, I'm saying? I, I'm not sure. Um... Is that... Alan, do you yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not gone onto our agenda. Alan, yeah, have you I, I had this no situation before. I had notification on the basis I'd put an objection in. So presumably the other people who objected also got notified. But if the Paris Council objected, it too should have had notification. We it should have. Had have yes. Yeah. Are I we allowed? Can we reiterate our objection? We can. Okay. Well, can we if we haven't put it on the agenda? Uh, well, that's it. We need to put it on a, a separate agenda and we'll reiterate it and send it off to uh, planning. So what was the date? The 25th? March. Right. Can, okay. we, can, can we retrospectively agree to the objection by a Zoom meeting maybe later on this week without having to go through all the procedure? Ashley? No, no we'd have to go through a, another extraordinary meeting. Okay. All right. Having already made an objection, is it not just reiterating the same one? Would you, do you need approval to just say exactly the same thing, but to a different body? Can I suggest that what we do is to Get Ashley to reiterate the objection if that's legally acceptable. If you vote on it now, you can ask me to do that, and that's fine. 
Well, that's what I was proposing. Right. Yeah. Well, can I have a proposer then? So no, wait, 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 wait. I don't, under, I don't understand the legal process. Then. But if you want me to send the same objection that you already put in what a year ago to to the council, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yep. Councillor Smith, you're muted. You're still muted, John. Yeah, still muted. Ashley, can you unmute him? Or... I've asked him to unmute. <laughs> right. Can you... Ah, there Hang you on. Go. There we go. Yeah, it worked. Um, can I just suggest that uh, you, you listen to uh, Ward Councillor Smith? Hi. Just to say that I've been questioning an appeal on uh, another property, uh, another planning application this week with um, the portfolio holder for planning. And she's told me that the original comments from the original application have to be sent with the appeal documents. It might be worth checking that out before sending in another appeal. Oh, another more comments. I think it's worth reinforcing the fact that you still feel strongly about it six or nine months later, rather than relying on the original. Yeah. Yes, I agree with that. I do. Can okay. we? Well, sorry, Councillor. Sure. Can we um, resend the objection because it was a very strongly worded objection last time. Um, why can't we, if we vote on that tonight, can that be sent? Well, that's it won't what do any harm, will it? No, it can't do any harm. And can we send it to the portfolio holder? Are we allowed to, Ashley? Can you muted, it? Ashley. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can send it to whoever you wish, uh, if you vote. Right. Okay. Okay, well, can we have a proposal and second it and let's do that. I'll propose that we resend the objection, um, capitalising on the fact that we haven't changed our minds and we are totally against this development. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll vote in favour as well, but it should be noted that the, it's the, that the appeal has gone to the Secretary of State, not to the portfolio holder. Oh, right, okay. I'll give Ashley the contact details. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, are you, all right, did you second that proposal then, Councillor Smith? Yes. Okay, can we take a vote on it then, please, to uh, put forward the motion? Can we have those in favour? In favour, Councillor Sampson. In favour, Smith. I was raising my hand, but I just realised how useless that is. In favour, yes? Yeah. Okay, I'm in favour as well. Okay, uh, do we have anybody else who wants to say anything? There's somebody called Hugh Jordan has got his hand up. Okay. Cynthia, Cynthia, yeah. ignore that please. Okay. Joshua Pilling. I'm just having a look at the other pages. No, there's nobody else, but that's no. Joshua Pilling. Are we, are we in the agenda or what? No, we're just we're still in the public meeting. All right. Um, can we have a Joshua Pilling? So how did we come to vote on that application then? Oh, he didn't mean to raise his hand, Chair. Yeah, sorry. So I think we need to move a little bit quicker, Chair, yeah, if you can. So so do I. Well, okay. I'm going to. I'm going to carry. We'll close that uh, part of the debate, and we'll move on to item twenty one seven four, which is to approve and sign the minutes of the Planning and Environment Committee of the seventeenth of February twenty one. So, uh, if we can have a look at those, can we take it page by page? Does anybody have any objections to page one? None, Councillor Sampson. None from Smith. None from me. Councillor Tolver. I'm being very slow, sorry. 
Okay. Page two. None from Smith. None from Councillor Sampson. None from me. No, none from me. And page three. None from Councillor Sampson. None from Smith. None from Tolbert. And none from me. Okay, so can we um, have a proposal to adopt those minutes, please? I propose. I'll second. Councillor Sampson. Back to the vote, please. All those in favour? In yeah. favour, Councillor Sampson. In favour, Smith. In favour, Councillor Moore. Well, that's um, unanimous, Ashley. What about Councillor Tolver? He said <laughs> in favour. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, we move on to item 2175, which is to consider the planning application 210621M, the advertisement consent for four um, illuminated signs and four illuminated lockable poster cases, eight glazing vinyls and two printed Fomax panels, Pets at Home, on Long Mile Drive in Hanforth. Do any councillors wish to make any comments? Yes, Councillor Smith. It, it's on the industrial estate. It's, it's, it's um, just purely letting people know which building is owned by them. I don't think it's an issue for uh, for us to uh, to consider too too gravely because it's just it's what everyone does on the industrial estate. They put yep. a sign up saying who they are. I don't yep. believe I've got any uh, problem with them doing that. Any other comments? None from me. None from Jane. me, Chair. Can I have a proposal to accept that then, please? Yeah. I'll propose. I'll have a proposal, second, whichever you like. Okay, so Councillor Smith proposes, Councillor Tarver second. Can we take a vote on that, all those in favour? In favour, Councillor Sampson. In favour, Smith. Mm. Was that in favour, Councillor Tolver? Yes, you must it's be. in favour. Yeah. In favour, Councillor Moore. That's unanimous, Ashley. Yep, thank you. Uh, okay, moving on to item 2176 to consider the planning application 210793M, the erection of a two-storey rear extension on three Harefield Road in Hanforth. Comments, councillors, please? Um, Chair, the um, objections have expired. Okay. So, yes. I would say I would comment that uh, where the extension is planned to be built overlooks a uh, a set of garages, uh, garages on the estate. Uh, they won't be overlooking anybody. I don't believe. Okay. All right then. If there's no other comments from councillors, um, can I have a proposal then, please? I'd propose that, Chair. Okay, Councillor Smith proposes. What are we I'll proposing? Proposing to support it? Yes. 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 Okay. Can we have a seconder? I'll second it. Okay, thank you, Councillor Sampson. So can we put that to the vote, please? All in favour, favour. favour Councillor Sampson. In favour, Smith. In favour, Tolver. In favour, Councillor Moore. Okay, we we'll move on to item 21, <coughs> excuse me, 2177, to consider the planning application 210875M, a two-storey extension and rear single-storey extension. This is a resubmission of uh, the 203494M, and it's number one, Hurlboat Hurl Close, Handforth. Um, Chair, there's, there's no objections and it doesn't look as... It's in keeping with what other houses have done on that road anyway. Right. Agreed. Yeah, yeah it looked like that to me too. Yeah, me too. Okay, um, may I have a proposer to accept that then, please? I'll propose. So, Councillor Smith proposes, Councillor Smith seconds. Can we put that to the vote, please? All those in favour? In favour, Councillor Sampson. In favour, Tolver. In favour, Smith. In favour, Councillor Moore. Okay, that's unanimous again. 
Okay, the next item is 21078, and I do not intend to read it all out because it will be here until doomsday, um, unless somebody wishes me to. Are, there, are you all in agreement with that? Mm -hmm. yes. Basically, it's to put a six-foot-six six hedge all the way around the property of Four Hall Road, which um, Mr Small has already spoken about. Um, perhaps there are some poignant, some <clears throat> facts uh, about the fence will not obscure the view for drivers as it replaces, as it is just a boundary to our garden and the road junction is many metres away. We are opposite St Benedict's Church that provides, <coughs> provides Sunday school, so not sure if being opposite a school guidance would apply. This allows fencing up to two metres. Uh, St Benedict's School is further down the road. Uh, does anybody have any comments about this? Yes, Chair. Yeah. Just, uh, it, it is not dissimilar to very many houses in Nanforth already, and they're just changing a hedge to a fence. Yeah. Can no objections to that. I think all, no. I would, all I would say is that as long as the planning officer checks that it's according to regulations, which I'm sure they would, then I can't yeah. solve the problem. Yeah. I think my only concern is that they're going to be getting rid of a boundary hedge, which I think is a shame. Um, but, um, and I'm not sure how that how that's affected by the, you're not allowed to cut hedges between March and September. So I don't know quite how that works. Um, but I can't say I can have raise any objections to it in, in essence, other than I prefer to see the fence, the hedge stay, but mm -hmm. that's by the by. Anybody else make comments on either councillors? Councillor Tolver? No, as I said, as long as the planning officer is happy about the regulations. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, may I have a proposal for that then, please? I'll propose that, Chair. May I have a seconder? I'll second, second it. Okay, and can we put that to the vote? Those in favour? Yeah, Tolver in favour. In favour, Councillor Sampson. In favour, Smith. In favour, Councillor Moore. Okay, with the proviso that uh, Councillor Tolver mentioned about the planning officer sticking to the, which he will, yeah. obviously. Um, okay, item 2179, which is to consider the planning application 210575M. The ground and first floor side extension and rear ground floor at 96 Delamere Road, Handforth. I see there's a couple of uh, objections to this from the neighbours. I don't, I don't know the district adequately myself to comment. Chair, yeah, can I make a comment? About light, weren't they? Light and privacy. Yeah. Can I make a comment, Chair? Yes, of course. Uh, normally, this wouldn't be a uh, an issue for. Um, in the area because it's similar to that which has been put up elsewhere on the estate. However, I would make the point that there have been uh, two objections uh, logged on the Cheshire East uh, website, the portal, on the planning portal, which are false. Um, they name two people who have not made any objections to this uh, Request for planning. And, right. And th th those uh, dodgy uh, comments have been taken off by uh, the planning department. Okay. But I just made that point. Are those being investigated, Councillor Smith? Yes, being investigated because there's all sorts of uh, ramifications for that sort of thing happening and being able to get through. Right, indeed. Yes, that's the last thing we need to see is... Um, can I ask Ashley if you can get rid of that person, BBC Look North, allegedly, or is he here legitimately? Um, I don't know. Um, let me have a look. Gone. Guy with the yellow hand up. He wants to show us his record collection. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Um <laughs> The, the only anybody got any comments to make about that application? Yeah, the only comment I've got is on the parking issue because 
they're not making any um, procedure to have additional car parking and we could have done. And uh, I know you can't have right to light now. That isn't something that um, it can be objected to. But I do feel sorry for the three properties on Peva Road uh, that, that they will be completely and utterly overlooked by this extension. Right. Okay. Well, um, as you say, there is no right to... to, to, to light, to, to, no. So, you know... The only objection I would ask to be considered is, you know, the possibility of them including some car parking. Yeah, and I can understand that. That's uh, very bad parking around there, isn't it? Around Any it. other comments? Any comments from you, Councillor Talva? Well, the only thing I would... I mean, I, I don't understand about the... Uh, I don't know what word to use, the false objections. I don't understand how that would happen. Um, but, you know, looking at the diagrams, it does seem a concern about uh, privacy. So I would again ask that the planning officer check the regulations to see how that fits. Okay, well, I'm, I'm sure that will be checked Anyway, so um, may we have a proposal if there's no further comments for that? I would like to propose that um, we support it with um, an addition to car parking and maybe they should look at the privacy um, issue. Okay. Yeah. Can I have a seconder for that? One second that. Thank you, Councillor Tolva. Can we put that to the vote? All those in favour? Yeah, Tolva. In favour, Samson. In favour, Smith. In favour, Moore. So that's unanimous again, Ashley. Thank you. Okay, moving on to item 21710 to consider a planning application 210972M, which is a single storey rear extension, three the green on uh, Hanforth. Comments from councillors, please. No objection from me, councillor chair. No. None from me, chair. Seems very straightforward to me. Correct. Yeah, and, and to me. Okay, may I have a proposer? Over. Okay, councillor Tolver to propose. May I have a seconder? A second. Councillor Smith. Okay, can we put that to the vote, please? In favour, Councillor Sampson. 